Hello guys, welcome to this session. This is our third session and the topic we're going to check is possessives. Chicos y chicas, pues bienvenidos a esta sesión. El tema de esta semana es los posesivos, adjetivos y pronombres. The agenda for this session, we're going to start with the objective, then the possessive adjectives, the possessive pronouns, and what are we going to do on next session by the end of this. Remember that along of these topics, we're going to have some activities in order to practice what we are learning. La agenda para eh, esta semana, eh, comenzamos con el objetivo, seguido de los adjetivos posesivos, los pronombres posesivos, y bueno, eh, para finalizar lo que será la siguiente sesión. Recuerden que a lo largo de estas, eh, de los temas que ve veamos el día de hoy, estaremos realizando actividades de práctica, esto con el fin de reforzar lo que estamos aprendiendo. So the objective for this session says, by the end of the lesson, students will be able to differentiate possessive adjectives from possessive pronouns and to use both of them in sentences. Dice, para el final de esta unidad, de esta lección, ustedes serán capaces de diferenciar entre los adjetivos posesivos y los pronombres posesivos y utilizarlos ambos en oraciones. And well, let's let's start with the possessive adjectives. Vamos a comenzar con los adjetivos posesivos. So the possessive adjectives needs to agree with the possessor and not with the thing that is possessed. In Spanish, the possessive adjectives agree with the thing that is possessed, but not with the possessor. But in English, is um is different. In English, the uh, possessive adjective needs to agree with the possessor and not with the thing that is possessed. So that's why we have in here the equivalences. So for the subject pronoun, which is the possessor, we have I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. And the possessive adjective that correspond for each possessor is my, your, his, her, its, our, your, their, okay? Also, we do not include an S uh, to the adjective when the noun is plural like in many other languages. In Spanish, the adjective has to be plural, like the noun, but in English, no. In English, the adjective is like is like in singular, in the base form, okay? And well, however, the verb that is used needs to be in agreement with the noun. If the noun is singular, then the verb is singular. If the noun is plural, then the noun, the verb, sorry, is plural. So, which is in agreement is the verb. The verb has to be, if noun singular, verb singular. If noun plural, verb plural. So in here we have some examples. For example, my pen is black. The noun is singular, so the verb is singular. My pants are black. Pants is plural, the verb is in plural as well. The same case is in here, our child is intelligent. Child is only one. And in here, our children are intelligent children more than one okay so now let me let me explain this in spanish no, déjenme lo, lo explico ahora en, en inglés hola Rose, ¿cómo está? Uh -huh. <ríe> bueno los adjetivos posesivos chicos y chicas los adjetivos posesivos pues nos sirven para hablar de posesión de que algo nos pertenece a diferencia del español en inglés los adjetivos posesivos Necesitan concordar con la persona que posee, más no con la cosa que es poseído. En español es al revés. En español, el eh, adjetivo posesivo necesita concordar con lo que es poseído, más no con quien lo posee. Pero en inglés es al revés. Y lo que nos importa ahorita es el idioma inglés. Para ello, aquí eh, presento la tablita de correspondencias. Tenemos los pronombres, el sujeto que son quienes poseen, los poseedores, y el adjetivo posesivo que debe de concordar con quien posee. Es decir, que para el sujeto hay, ten, yo, en el adjetivo posesivo que le corresponde es my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, you, your, they, their. ¿Okay? Son, es la concordancia y debemos de tenerlo en cuenta ahora. Los adjetivos posesivos, o, bueno, los adjetivos, los adjetivos posesivos no, no requieren que agreguemos una S 
al final, ya que no necesitan concordar con el número de la oración. ¿Y a qué me refiero con esto del número? Es, por ejemplo, que si en español estoy hablando de carros, digo mis carros, mis, agregó la S a mí. En inglés no es en inglés, solamente es my cars. My se queda en su forma base, que es singular. Cars si se queda en plural. Ejemplo, tenemos aquí, our cars are expensive. Our cars are expensive, which is incorrect. No podemos decir ours porque ours es otra cosa. Es, es, ahorita lo vamos a ver, pero es, eh, por lo pronto les digo que tiene otro significado. Si agregamos la S. Ok. Eh, sí, déjenme se lo paso. Permítame un segundo. Denme un segundito, Melissa. Ah, disculpa. Listo. Bueno, regresando al, por nada, regresando al, a la parte de los adjetivos. Les digo, en, en inglés no tiene que haber concordancia entre el número de la oración. El adjetivo siempre, el adjetivo positivo siempre se queda en su forma base. No tenemos que agregar la S como en español. Lo que sí uh, hay, en lo que sí hay un poco de cambio es en el verbo y el sustantivo, el verbo que utilicemos en la oración. ¿Por qué? Porque si el sustantivo es plural, el verbo tiene que estar en plural, pero el, es el verbo, no el adjetivo. Sustantivo plural, verbo en plural. Sustantivo en singular, verbo en singular. Y aquí tenemos algunos ejemplos. Por ejemplo, my pen is black. My pen, estamos hablando de una pluma, mi pluma. Por ello, es, es singular, por ello el verbo que es el verbo to be debe de estar en singular. My pen is black. Si habláramos de más de una pluma, diríamos my pens. Y aquí, perdón, y aquí el verbo tiene que estar en plural. Are sería la, el verbo en plural que le corresponde a pens. Igual sucede con child. Y children. Child es singular. Child is. Children es plural. Children are. ¿Ok? ¿Dudas hasta aquí? ¿Preguntas? Antes de pasar con los ejercicios. Eh, no, todo bien. ¿Todo bien? ¿Los demás? ¿Dudas? ¿Preguntas? ¿Todo bien? Reina, ¿todo bien? ¿Todo bien? Bueno, vamos a pasar con los ejercicios. Vamos a hacer el primer ejercicio. Y en este ejercicio debemos de escoger el eh, pronombre correcto. Perdón, el, la respuesta correcta. Tenemos aquí el pronombre entre paréntesis, debemos de escoger el adjetivo posesivo que le corresponde. Dice, name is Lisa, I am a teacher. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta correcta? I. 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 Mm -mm. My. Vamos a recordar la tablita. El adjetivo posesivo que le corresponde a I, que es lo que está entre paréntesis, es my. Para you, your, he, his, she, her. It, it's, we, our, you, your, they, their. ¿Ok? Así vámonos al ejercicio. Entonces, name is Lisa. I am a teacher. My. My. Very good. Annie is 11 years old. Mother mm -hmm. is Sue. And we have she in parentheses. So, the answer yeah. is? Her. Hair, because it's feminine. Lucy has a sister. Name is Natalia. She, his hair or he? Hair. Her. Hair, that's right. Andres Manuel is president now. And we have we. So, oh. our, that's right. This is a giraffe. It legs are lungs. Long. So the adjective in here is A, B, or C? It's. It's, that's right. 
Renata and Valentina are brothers and sis are brother and sister. Mother's name is Mara, but we have in here they. So which is the answer, A, B, or C? They. There, that's right. Messi is playing in Barcelona. Nickname is La Pulga, and we have in here he, which is the he. right answer. He's. Batman is a superhero. Card is the Batmobile. So is it's his or he? His. He is excellent. Next, Iron Man is a superhero. Girlfriend is Miss Pepper. It's. His, that's right. Paul and I are good friends. Favorite video game is Call of Duty. So, is the answer A, B, or C? B, that's right, our. And the second activity um, is the same, sorry. It's in here. So, we have to choose the right answer. Carlos got a dress. Dress is red. Hair, his, or your? His. His, <laughs> but Carla is a girl. Yeah. Hair. Very good. Now, number two. You've got a dog. Dog is brown. My, their, or your? Your. Your. That's right. Excellent. Next. We have it here. Santiago and I have got boots. Boots are brown. My, our, or their? Our. Our. Very good. Next. Says, we've got a TV. TV is big. My, their, or our? our. Which is the answer? Our. Excellent. Next, he's got blonde hair, blonde hair. Hair is short. His hair or your? His. He is excellent. Next. Next. It says, my friends have got shoes. Shoes are white. Our, my, or their? They. Their, excellent. Next, they've got trousers. Trousers are blue. Their, our, or your? Their. Their. You and Matias have got socks. Socks are yellow. My, your, or his? You. Your, that's right. So, says in here, that's my mom and dad. Car is red. They are your or our? They. They are car. Excellent. Next. I've got a skirt. Skirt is beautiful. My, his, or your? Mine. My skirt. That's right. Next. He's got a t-shirt. T-shirt is blue. His. His t-shirt. Excellent. She's got a cat. Cat is black. His, my, or her? Her. Her cat. Excellent. Very good, guys. Next. Says, we've got a card. Card is red. Our excellent. My sister and I have got shoes. Shoes are black. A, B, or C. Our. Our excellent. Next, and this is the last one. You and your sister have got a computer. Computer is new. 
your, his, or my. You. Your computer is new. Very good. Excellent, guys. So let's keep on with the topic. So keep on going with the topic. So we have in here positive pronouns. And well, a positive pronoun or positive pronouns replaces a positive adjective plus a noun in order to avoid repetition or to repeat information that is already clear. Okay, for example, in the sentence, this book is my book, not your book. Instead of saying my book and your book, because we already mentioned the word book, we can use positive pronouns in order to avoid the repetition of books. So we can say this book is mine, not yours. We have uh, in here the equivalences for the positive adjectives and positive pronouns. Remember, positive adjectives always have to be followed by a noun, but positive pronouns aren't, are just by itself. Mostly positive adjectives are used at the beginning of the sentence or in the middle, and the positive pronouns are used at the end of the sentence because nothing follows them. And all, another difference is that positive adjectives are always before the verb and positive pronouns are always after the verb, okay? So for the positive adjective, my, the pronoun is mine, your, yours, his, his, hair, hairs, its, we don't use a positive pronoun for its, our, ours. So that's why I told you um, just, a mom, just moments ago, that if we add an S to our, we're saying another thing. Well, we are saying a positive pronoun instead of a positive adjective. For your, we have yours. And for their, we have theirs. Okay, so also positive pronouns, well, as I told you already, are used in English in order to avoid repeating information. The positive pronouns in English are as follows. Uh, well, for the subject I, we have mine, yours, his, hers, ours, yours, theirs. Remember, for it, we don't have. So we avoid using the positive pronoun it's because um, it uh, can make the sentence tentful in order to, to, make on, um, to make the sentence a little bit confu confucius. And well, and of yours or of plus positive pronouns is a, form, a formula that we can use. And says so in here, it is also very common to say a friend or some friends of plus the positive pronoun. A friend of mine or some friends of mine in order to say mis amigos in Spanish. For example, I saw one of your friends last night. I saw a friend of yours last night. Both are saying the same. Both of these sentences are correct and both common in English, quite common actually. But now let me explain this in Spanish. Los, poses los pronombres posesivos, chicos y chicas. Bueno, los pronombres posesivos se utilizan en inglés para evitar la repetición dentro de una oración. Como, bueno, ya se habrán dado cuenta en, tal vez ya en algo que han leído, que en vez de que se esté repite y repite y repite en la misma palabra, se utilizan algunas palabritas para evitarlo. Esas palabritas se llaman pronombres posesivos Y bueno, aquí tenemos un ejemplo. Dice la oración, this book is my book, not your book. Este libro es mi libro, no tu libro. Okay. Para evitar estar diciendo mi libro, tu libro, 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 cada rato, vamos a utilizar un pronombre posesivo. This book is mine, not yours. Este libro es mío, no tuyo. Okay. Está, él está repitiendo en la oración, my book, your book, hace que no suene natural del idioma, mientras que el utilizar mine o yours hace que suene natural, que estamos utilizando el idioma de forma natural. Ahora, eh, existe una correlación entre pos adjetivos posesivos y pronombres posesivos. Recuerden que, antes de ver la correlación, recuerden que un adjetivo posesivo siempre está seguido de un sustantivo Y la combinación adjetivo posesivo más sustantivo siempre está antes del verbo, mientras, mientras que el pronombre posesivo siempre está al final de la oración 
no va seguido de absolutamente nada y siempre está después del verbo, ¿ok? Si se dan cuenta, aquí dice my shirt is green, my shirt, adjetivo posesivo, el sustantivo, verbo y complemento. Y the shirt is mine, tenemos el sujeto de la oración, the shirt, el verbo y la, eh, el, el pronombre posesivo que es mine, ¿ok? Ahora, ¿cuál es la correlación? Bueno, pues para my utilizamos mine, para your utilizamos yours, para his, his, para her, hers, para its, no se utiliza uh, el pronombre posesivo. Maestro, pero es que yo sí lo he visto, ok, si sí es, si sí se usa en inglés hablado, la cuestión de que gramaticalmente no es correcto usarlo es porque una, un objeto no puede poseer a otro objeto. Es por esa cuestión, pero en inglés hablado sí se utiliza en algunas ocasiones. Para our, tenemos hours, y era lo que les mencionaba, si agregamos la S, our, pues estamos hablando de otra cosa, que no es un adjetivo posesivo, sino un pronombre posesivo. Después tenemos your, que es yours, their, que es theirs, y así sucesivamente. Recuerden que si utilizan estos pos eh, pronombres posesivos para evitar la repetición, eh, la correspondencia entre sujeto y pronombre posesivo es la siguiente para I tenemos mine, you, yours, he, his she, hers, we, ours you, en plural yours, they, theirs ok y también podemos utilizar la, la construcción of yours o también of mine of his, etc es una construcción muy común en inglés y, pues, bueno, nos ayuda a sonar más naturales en el idioma. Por ejemplo, tenemos aquí, I saw one of your friends last night. También lo podríamos decir, I saw a friend of yours last night. Cualquiera de las dos opciones es correcta. Suena más natural a friend of yours, pero ambas son usadas en el idioma inglés. ¿Ok? ¿Dudas hasta aquí? ¿Preguntas, chicos y chicas? No. ¿Todo bien? Bueno, vamos a, a hacer las actividades. So we have in here possessive pronouns. So we have to choose the right possessive pronoun. Says, she has got two cats. They are mine, yours, his, hers, theirs, or ours. Si en la oración tenemos she in... Correcto. En el pronombre posesivo vamos a tener hers. They have got a bike. The bike is theirs. mine theirs. Very good. Good. He has got a ball. It is his. His. I have got a book. It is mine. Mine. We have got a big map. It is Hours. Hours. Very good. You have got a you have got grapes. They are yours. Yours. Very good. He has got a new phone. It is his. 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 You have got lost of I'm sorry, lots of guidebooks. They are yours. Yours. You have got a lot of cherries. They are? Yours. Yours. Very good. I have got a map. It is? Mine. Mine. <laughs> They have got some biscuits. They are? Theirs. Theirs. I have got three guidebooks. They are? Mine. Mine. Excellent. We have got some drinks for the beach. They are? Ours. Ours. My cousin has got a cookie. It's? His. His. My sister has got cookies. They are? Hers. Hers. Excellent. 
So the activity number two it says in here. Whose is this computer? It's. We have to check the photo. Tenemos que ver la foto para completar con el pronombre posesivo. Hairs. Who's this car? Who's is this car? It's. His. His. <laughs> Who's is this camera? It's. Hairs. Hairs. Whose is this camera? It's. His. His. Whose is this planet? Planet. It's. Our. Our. Whose is this dog? It's. Hair. Hairs. Whose is this car? His. His. It's his. Whose is this house? It's. Theirs. Theirs. Whose is this car? It's. Theirs. Theirs. Whose is this money? Hers. It's hers. Whose is this guitar? It's. It. His. Whose is this bike? It's. Hers. Hers. Whose is this popcorn? It's. Theirs. Theirs. Whose is this cat? It's. Theirs. Theirs. Whose is this dog? It's. Theirs. Theirs. That's right. And the last activity. We have to put the sentence in order. So, which is the right order for this sentence? This. This. Aren't. This aren't. My case. My keys. The keys. Mm hmm I I think I think mm -hmm. your they are they are yours acuérdense los pronombres posesivos hasta el final so which is the right uh, order for this sentence the what the bag. Uh, mm -hmm. The bag is is the bag on uh, the table. table is his. Okay. Dan is taller brother mine her. Her brother. Her brother. Brother. Is, is teacher. Is taller than mine. Very good. Next. Flip flop. Are yours this? Es una are pregunta. Are you flip mm. this? Are these flip flop yours? Flip flop son. Uh, chanclas, patos de gallo. <laughs> so, Red, Fred is and are Maria, mine, they are Gina names. Which is the right answer? Who? Mine? Mm -mm. Their? Their names? Their names? El verbo nos falta. Their names. Is or are. Ah. Their names are. Maria and Gina. Maria and Gina. Very good. Mine. Is Fred. 
his friend. So which is the right uh, order for this sentence? This. This. Isn't. This isn't our bus. Bus. Stop. Bus stop. Bus. Here doesn't stop. Here doesn't stop. No. Stop here. Stop. <laughs> doesn't Ours doesn't stop here. El de nosotros no se para aquí. It's it, yours, no, isn't here, is that Jackie. Jacket, it, sorry. Is yours. Is yours. Mm -mm. <laughs> is that Jacket. Is that jacket? Yes. Hairs? Yours. Yes. No. no. It. It's. It. Isn't. It. It's hairs. Okay. Mine shorts are my blue sister and Black R. My. My. My sister. My shorts. My sisters. My sister shorts. Are. Blue. Are black. My. Mm. And mine. Are blue. Are, are blue. blue. Very good. Next, your speaking mother with my is. My mother. My mother. Speaking. Is. Is. Speaking. speaking with yours. With yours. Very good. Yours, this word is, is chair mine. This is this is where this where? yours this chair is yours is mine sorry where yeah. is yours esta silla es mía donde está la tuya yours is and mine the cat The cat is yours and mine. This mine is whose scarf. Whose scarf? Whose this scarf? It's mine. Very good. His have me his cell phone lent. I a don't. I I have I have or I don't have uh, a phone so lend so lend me so he lend me his house is than their smaller hour Dan? 
Dan. Mm. Our house is smaller than theirs. Very good. Nuestra casa es más pequeña que la de ellos. Um, my shirt is orange and green. And hairs is orange. Okay. Very good. Excellent, guys. Muy bien, chicos y chicas. Excelente. ¿Dudas con respecto a el tema, los pronombres posesivos? No. El, 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 ellos, ustedes. Suyo de ellos. De ellos. O ellas. ¿Alguien más? No. ¿Todo bien? Bueno, esto lo, lo dejamos de repaso para la próxima sesión. Eh... Bueno, eh... Eh, eso sería todo la próxima sesión vemos el repaso que es esto y los sustantivos contables y no contables alguna duda que tengan chicos y chicas es momento de preguntar siguiente sesión escucho? que va a ser el viernes ¿verdad? sí, sí normal okay. gracias por nada ¿alguien más? ¿todo bien? Hablan ahora o caen para siempre. <ríe> bueno, no. Me pueden mandar mensaje y les, les contesto. Eh, si no hay ninguna duda, pues bueno, doy por terminada la sesión. Muchas gracias por estar el día de hoy, chicos. Y bueno, nos vemos este, la próxima semana. Sería toda mi parte. Excelente fin. Descansen. Bye, guys. Bye. See you. Bye.